What's going on everybody? You know what it is, the gang. We out here. It's another video, legendary video, this one coming soon. Yeah, y'all yeah, don't even understand. Y'all don't different. know, bro. One of the fastest SL55 AMGs out here. Oh, muscle gang, that's what I'm going for. Bro, for the crazy. AMG right now. It's like a it's like a German muscle car, you know what I mean? That's exactly it. Bro. It's German engineering, but it's a muscle. V8, okay. Super charged. The last, the last of the V8 Superchars from Mercedes. That's it. It's the funniest dudes on the planet. He's crazy about his cars. And uh, he's a subscriber. Shout out to Brian. He's um, drops bare money on rims and tires. You know so he's a, a car guy when he does that. Oh, 100%. It's a fact. We call him Baller Brian. You know what I mean? He's, he's, he's a baller. But don't even get into his uh, his other collections. You know, he's got a... He's got a you know Brian, that yacht, you know what I'm saying? One day he's got gonna let it out to okay, me. Okay. But anyways, uh, we're on our way to, to his crib right now. We're about uh, eight minutes away. So uh, we'll Let's see, see what that AMG do. Let's see what that do. Can't wait, bro. He's gonna go ham on that joint, you know? So. He's a crazy driver too, or what? Crazy driver, bro. Uh, I like that, I like that. I'm I like not even guy. Gonna... I've never met this guy. I like him already. I'm gonna just say straight up, maybe he did 250. In Mexico, though, you know, always in Mexico, not Mexico you know I mean? past America, then Mexico. in Mexico, yeah. He, but uh, let's get it. We almost stop. We in the countryside, bro. man. Where are we? In the countryside, man. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get your hill, <laughs> Billy. We in the hills. Look, bro, I see <laughs> horses and thing. cows. and Bro, what are, are we doing here with a. On the streets, man. What are we doing here with a cheap SRT, you know? We yeah, got running the new. Kids in a block, bro. On the SRT badge on the seat. That's heavy. They got some nice houses. Heavy there. embroidery right there. They got some nice cribs out here. Yeah, thank God we didn't in a Porsche today. Yeah, thank oh, God. we don't want to come in the Porsche today, you know, so we had to do them with the Jeep SRT, you know. It's still uh, still a 200 big, on the dash. Big body, you know. Still big body, you know what I mean? Still 100 bands on the truck, you know. You know what it is. We're going to catch y'all out there. This is the intro of the man himself. This is the one. I was telling him this is the next car we're getting for the channel. So then in the winter, because your channel is a car channel, yeah. when it snows, we'll say the foreign family's going to go ride snow. Oh my. I've always wanted to ride those. Yo, this is so cool. Cool. Oh, you take like some video and say, oh yeah, you know. Look at this. See my boy Brian's AMG. This guy's a baller. I saw like it. <laughs> That's a sip. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 600. Man. This is probably. Stupid, Yo, these reviews coming soon, huh? Let's do these ones. Yo, look, look at the, look at the amount. Oh, what did I tell you? You know the carbon, the carbon barrels, bro. Look at this carbon. Oh, oh, that's this crazy. guy got carbon that's for, for the wheels. Days. Yeah, that's nice. That's crazy. Look at the tires. And this is the. Beast. This is I like this right here. This is, get a cool stuff for sure. Look at the look at the AMG flag on here. I like that. I like the touch everywhere. You know? AMG every, oh the AMG clock. Oh this is the best. This is the best. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I had that This is the best. This I got that clock. Yeah, you know what? I, I left it on April because you were coming. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's one. Yeah, yeah. See that clock? Yeah. I got that the, because it's Mercedes. Uh-huh. Um it's copyrighted. Yeah. But in Russia you can't practice copyright it's yeah. that their country so that there was made in russia so it was no, like man. um i think i paid 19 dollars for it american <laughs> That's but you know what it's made out of <laughs> so i mean well you guys yeah, would, yeah, you yeah, guys wouldn't know so much anyway because you know what a cd is of course yeah yeah, yeah. Old, oh it's like a, a the big the, it's the a, record it's, tape. it's it's actual old vinyl record yeah no, really still got the name and everything on the back wow that's crazy that's that's sweet right so now. the russian guy got a whatever a cutter and he uses old records man you know what i mean the clock's probably a dollar from china yeah that's they put it in they sell it for 19 nice bucks little, nice little turnaround man oh yeah records are all over the place nobody plays them anymore the right the fact that it's not copyrighted no one yeah can sell it or anything. This that's is right crazy. you know 
Brian, how much you how much how much you spend? Hold up, listen to this. How much you spend on these carbon barrels? Um, to get the barrels and to get them done in carbon, they were three thousand dollars. And they just said, <laughs> I put them on the car for about four weeks. Uh, I told you, bro. I told you. He's on a different I, level, bro. He's on a different level. I like the chrome better. And yeah. And I was like, oh. You have to, you know. So I said, yeah, I, I like the chrome better too, but. Oh, my God. So I am going to do like we said. I'm going to do the calipers in orange and put a oh, half yeah. inch pin strike on the Yo, so I think that would look really nice. He's gonna do well, orange like a bright orange. Coming, so those wheels are gonna come off. Yeah. It looks like this. The what orange kind of, is like kind of that. Wheels? That orange. Yeah, kind that's of like this, nice. right? That's gonna look nice with the black. Like that? Yeah, actually the color right there, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh it's yeah, like nice, like, Oh, it's gonna look so orange. sick, bro. Man, fuck. It's yeah, you see the black beast, the bro. Looks really nice today. Just uh, cause it's just black and silver, so we yeah, yeah. Okay, let me let me go behind you so I can get that close there. Come on, oh. <laughs> you know I'm bad at this. Though. Oh, there you go. Hold on, hold on. Full carbon. Oh, it depends if you're working on it. You oh, that extends. Wow. That extends a lot, man. That's crazy, bro. That's that's a machine right there. The supercharged models of the AMGs. Different. That's one of the Mercedes best motors, the uh, M113K. Exactly. Yeah. And um, it's like even now with the torque and the horsepower. Yeah, they ran that motor like from the 90s. The SL65, which was a V12, the V12 twin turbo. Yeah. was about $30,000 more. And um, these were much easier to hot rod and they were faster than yeah. the V12s. So although the V12 had more torque, um, it was more a tune, of like a, in a, a tune in a pulley, and this makes more horsepower than the 65. Yeah. So, so probably guys were going out for five grand, and the car was 30 grand less. So they were saving <laughs> 25 grand, and they were beat. And it's the same car. And it probably yeah, hurt the sales for the. It, it well, destroyed it was, the it sales. Was, it was hurting the sales of the 65. Yeah. Does it got the full carbon intake this is there? Crazy. I mean, it's, you know, it's old, but I mean... But this motor never gets old, like a supercharged vehicle. It, yeah, when you see the car outside, people really don't know what year it is. Yeah. They, they really don't. And for something this old, like, people don't realize, like, this is old. So, like, you know, when you say it's got 575 horse, yeah, that's not really a lot nowadays. But in 2003... <sighs> It was the fastest production convertible in the world. It's like it's like saying now you've got a 720s fighter, right? Yeah. And and you know what they're like before I destroy everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty hard on it. So how much does it weigh? It weighs 4,100 pounds. Okay, so that means it's very it's stable heavy. when you're going. Yeah, the it, it's it's not a. I call it the German muscle car. It's more yeah, of like it definitely a, is, yeah. It, you know, like it's a it's a it's a, a GT car. It's not a hot yeah. Ride. It's a grand tour. You know, long road trips and um, comfort. It, it will surprise guys that think it's not fast. Yeah. The car is extremely fast, and the car is extremely fast on the top end. Yeah. So let's get let's get that full set there. So superchargers don't need rev to 3,000 RPM, so you do not get revs out of SLs. Really? Yeah, they won't go over 3,000 with the supercharger, so. Damn, I actually did not even know that.
the hard top on right there. Top when you first see it. Right? It's That's not telling so you, bro. Well. It's done so well that you can't tell. Look. Yeah, and then I'll put the orange caliper, and I think that'll be okay. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, you know what he did? He barged into the door. He's like, he goes like this. That's enough. We had a, a, a stack full of cash in an envelope. He's like, That's enough. He's like, Take my money. Bro, for bro, you. For just put a dirty old set of. 18s and off of a, just a stock, stock bends and I took yeah. it down the road and the car was like brand new. I was yeah. like, oh my god, <laughs> so smooth. Eh? Yeah, and I just did all the drive line. So with two normal wheels and two good tires, the car was like brand new. So I was like, oh, so yeah, I get to run it now, right? So probably put 400k on it. It runs really, really nice. I'm I'm really happy with the car. I can't say anything bad. Haven't had any real bad luck with it. Yeah. Normal stuff, right? But the the car has been around so long that it's easy to get information on it. Exactly. Right. So you can go on YouTube and it's happened to somebody else. Definitely. Or there's a forum where the guy says, "Yeah, my car revved up by itself in the driveway, and that's a crank position sensor going out of phase, and it's causing the motor to rev up." And you order one for forty bucks, you put it in, and it stops. Yeah. And there's lots of parts on it like that if you can change the part. Mm -hmm. But there's lots of parts on it that if you don't change them, you're going to pay. Definitely. Yeah, man. CD's I, I, when I first bought the car, I had a rear wheel speed sensor. So the wire, the wire, I put lowering links in it. When I took the lowering links in it, I must have bumped the air, the wire for the speed sensor. I must have knocked it up to the clip. Yeah. It fell down and it was rubbing on the axle. So once it burned through and had it ground, the dash went crazy. I had no fucking idea what was wrong with it. I took it to Mercedes and they put it on the scanner, which was two hundred seventy-five dollars to scan it. And they said it was the rear wheel speed sensor. He took the tire off and he, he sent me a picture that was burned on the axle. So. Um, Call me back about an hour later, said the parts on back order from Germany, it'll be six weeks and it's seven hundred dollars plus two seventy five. Listen to this, listen. Okay? And it was two hours to install. So it was five fifty was a twelve hundred dollar repair. Okay? But they didn't have the part. So yeah. I asked him, can I drive the car? He said, Yeah, the, the tech will tape it up. He said there'll be an error on yeah. the dash telling you the rear wheel speed sensor is on. Like, yeah, she can drive the car. So I brought it home and I go online and I look up the part and I bought it from FPC Euro, which is a German part replacement. It's the original part. The yeah, OEM part. Yes, it's an OEM part and they were $99 American each. So I bought four. I bought two for the back, two for the front in case it ever happened again. Yeah. And I did it myself in 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I took the wheel off, I unbolted the 10 mil, I unplugged it, I plugged a new one in, I put it on. And I was like, <laughs> I was going to pay them <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and they pay job. probably 50 bucks for the plug. Yeah, they get a lot, obviously, the Mercedes. Right? Right? They're getting it for 50 bucks, it's and it's crazy. like, you know, like, I mean, I look at it like, okay, like the wheel's $200. They're, they retail for 450 bucks. Holy, it's <laughs> more than what the wheel costs. Yeah. Right? It's so crazy. you run that in your brain, you're like, holy no. That's if like, I could find that's it. like the, the thought. Two bucks. Twenty bucks. Yeah, if you can find it. Yeah, to you the make a hundred of Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know how many crazy and the Russians are crazy, Mercedes crazy, right? So everybody's got them. <laughs> Let's take this far to drive. This is actually the first time I've seen a real rent tech in Yeah, the cars there's three in Ontario. Yeah, they're very Oh yeah, three. The supercharged ones are very rare because they're expensive. Yeah. It's expensive. Like now, like for me, I put a it, it came with a crank pulley and a Rentec too. So it went from four ninety seven to five hundred and fifty four horsepower. It made sixty horse. Big huge difference like sixty yeah. horse. But that was a twenty five thousand dollar option. 
I changed the top pulley, I changed the air intake, I put a throttle body on it, and we did another tune. And I can get 615 out of it, but I run it at 580 horse, 575. I find that's the nicest place where you can that's drive it. Ground, yeah. yeah, you know what? It's supposed to be a gentleman's car, right? Yeah. And I don't want it riding around it is, like it it's... It is like very a, classy and it's... Yeah, I don't want to ride car. around like it's a Camaro, right? If I want to <laughs> smoke the tires off of it, I just light her up, right? But yeah. it's, it's an amazing car if you want to have something that looks really good, but it, yeah. it eats tires. Rear-wheel drive, you can supposedly turn the traction control off but the computer still does not let you lay into it like forever